Welcome to the Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Trilogy. Or is it Apollo Justice Ace Attorney Trilogy? In some order of a trilogy. This game has been out for at least six months as of recording this, and I have decided to finally jump in while it's trending. It's not trending. I'm always late to the party. If you don't know, the Ace Attorney Apollo Justice Trilogy, that's, that's such a mouthful. The Apollo Justice Trilogy includes Apollo Justice, as you can tell right here, Apollo Justice, Dual Destinies, and Spirit of Justice. We will be playing Dual Destinies. We have already played Apollo Justice on this channel. If you guys want me to play the HD version of Apollo Justice, maybe I can stream a little bit of it. I don't know if I would play the entire thing. I'm pretty sure I've played this game twice. Like, fully? It has been a very, very long time though. Been many a years. So I'm pretty sure I remember most things, but probably not a lot of things. Let's go ahead and get into it. So this is like marginally exciting. Oh, Judge, I can't hear you. Just kidding. I don't think he's supposed to be saying anything. It's crazy seeing this cutscene without any sound effects, aside from the, the ticking of the bomb. I mean, uh, I mean, well, yeah, it's a bomb, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I was thinking about this, about how crazy it is that an explosion just went off in a courtroom of all places. I think this, if this sort of thing happened in real life, this would be like huge news. Also, I have decided to uh, make the audio language in Japanese because I hate everyone that doesn't speak Japanese. <laughs> Oh, right. I forgot. She's techie lady. Oh, Athena. I mean... Yes. Look, here's the thing. I'm going to be probably spoiling a lot of things as we play because I remember things. Um, if you're coming here for a blind playthrough, you're not going to get it because I'm not blind. Half a year? Oh, that I didn't remember that. She, she was with the agency for a while. Oh. Bye. He sounds so young. I forgot about how good Ace Attorney music was. Wow, look at that. You can really see the details, I just realized, on that badge. I didn't realize that the, the attorney's badge was made in the same uh, texture as a basketball. What's up, dude? Who is this mysterious figure in the shadows? Oh my god. I can't believe it. It's my boy Apollo. What's he doing here? Apollo, did you cause this explosion? Wow. Oh, God. Uh, the, the best thing about mobs is how they erase and destroy without discretion. I don't know how hard I'm gonna try with voice acting. I'm not a professional. I usually put my best effort into doing it when I play games like this, but um, now all I have to do is pin everything on that little girl. It is December 17th. I wish it was December 17th in real life, but it's not. It's, it, it's very hot right now. This room feels much more cramped in HD. <laughs> hmm. Nope. Not feeling nervous at all. It's amazing what a girl can get used to. Even a tense atmosphere like this is no biggie. That painting on the right, uh, maybe it's not a painting. It's like a photo or a painting of just dining tables with empty chairs. What, what kind of scenery is this? You okay, Athena? Apollo! Oh, Apollo. Yeah, doing great. Like a hum little tune great. Oh yeah? Well, that's good to hear. Although, <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. I remember my my thoughts about him cheesing it like this with his grin. When his eye opens, it looks, you can see the, the, the smile go back to being small a little bit. Like he's waiting for you to advance the, the conversation. It's like, any second now, <laughs> can you go? <laughs> I could have sworn I heard your voice crack for a second there. Oof, I'm that transparent, uh... 
Cracking? No, my voice isn't cracking. Nerves of steel here, I tell you. This is Apollo Justice. He's a fellow lawyer at the office I work for. Apollo is the lead for the defense on this case, but I'm going to be there at the bench with him, doing what I can to help out. I'll do whatever it takes to defend Junie. <gasps> oh! I forgot that she was the one accused of this incident. I was thinking of someone else who you'll see later. <laughs> My memory is so jumbled. Speaking of steel, how are you holding up? That explosion really did a number on you. I'm just happy that you're okay, Athena. Although, I can't pretend I have no connection to this case. That's why I'm going to see to it that Juniper's name is cleared. And I'm sure you feel much the same way. You got that right. I won't rest until Juni is completely clear off all suspicion. Apollo, Athena. <laughs> I forgot this is what she wears. I forgot her outfit. Oh, Juni, look how cute you are with your little acorn ribbon. Thank you for doing this for me. Juni! Oh yeah, homegirl sicky sick. Man, I forget everything. Hey, are you okay? Sorry about that. I always seem to go into coughing fits whenever I get nervous. This kind of thing never happens <laughs> at home in the forest. <coughs> this is Juniper Woods. She's my dear, dear childhood friend. And she's also our client for this case. The news keeps repeating that Juni is the alleged bomber. But that's ridiculous. There's no way Juni would do anything like that. Look at her. She has an acorn on her chest. Anyone with an acorn on her chest would never plant a bomb anywhere. I brought you a little snack, Dina. Just a little something from my garden. I just bought some this morning. Oh my god, it's like she bought it for me. Hey, thanks. Is this an orange or a tangerine? It's an orange. My grandma says that orange is the color of strength and endurance. Vitamin C is very helpful for your, your body, so I can see why she would say that. Oh, I get it. Strength for the trial, right? Junie, you're always so good to me. Jeez, look at me, standing here clutching an orange to my chest with tears in my eyes. Well, don't you worry. We'll be so powerful in there, they won't know what hit them. Right, Apollo? Yeah, that's right. Come what may. This is one trial. We just can't lose. Dang, we lost him. Apollo! Apollo! <sighs> Blood is seeping through his bandages. One of his wounds must have reopened. What did you do? You'd think the doctors would have stitched you up well enough that nothing would be reopened. You don't, you're not even doing anything physical. All this time he was trying to put on a brave face, but he was really overdoing it. Mr. Justice, the trial is about to start, sir. Please proceed to the courtroom. What? Now? But Apollo's in no state to defend. Gotta have some excuse to make Athena be the one to stay <laughs> to defend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to defend Juniper. What are we gonna do? The trial is about to start, with or without us. There's only one other option I can think of at a time like this. But even if I called him now, he'd never get here in time. No, wait. There's something else I can do. Apollo, give me all the evidence for the case. Huh? What are you gonna do? Bailiff? Yes, miss? The defense would like to submit a substitution of attorney petition. Athena! You're not seriously. You just concentrate on getting better. I'll defend Junie. All by yourself? Athena, stop for a second and think about what you're saying. You've never once taken a case on alone before, right? No, a problema. Why did you say that in Spanish? I can handle it, I think. But I guess it's really up to you, Junie. Would you be okay with me taking over? I would, I kept calling it an acorn. That's a pine cone. Acorns are the thing, the little, the little, uh, little, 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 what do you call those? The little, little, little... Um... Sure, I believe in you, Thena, and that's enough for me. Girl, you got me sweating. You're worried for me, aren't you? No, I think he's more worried for Judy than you, but... To be honest, I'm pretty nervous too. I think my heart might just burst out of my chest. But you're in no shape to stand at the bench now. So you'll just have to leave it to me. I'm surprised that the hospital let you go home. When did the bomb happen? Or when did the bombing happen? Was it like earlier today? You shouldn't be out. All right. I can see your mind's made up anyway. I hate it that I can't be there, but I know you'll give your utmost to defend Juniper. You bet I will. Rest assured of that. My name is Athena Sykes. I'm still just a newbie, but I'm a lawyer. This is only the second time I've taken the lead in a defense case. It really? What was the first time? It'll be the first time I stand up there alone though, but I have to do this. And I'm definitely not about to let anything bad happen to Junie. 
you know, she alluded to some uh, to a him to come take Apollo's place. Uh, I wonder who that is. But I'm surprised that he wasn't here to begin with to ensure that things were gonna run okay given Apollo's state to begin with. The man is a fucking mummy. Oh my god, Judge, you look so big and beautiful. Where is our searcher for a trial of Juniper Woods? The, the defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh no. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> not this one. Ah, uh, uh-huh. What is the meaning of this? I was under the impression that Mr. Red Monkey would be my opponent today. I'm literally gonna smack you upside your head. How dare you? That almost sounds racist. Yes, well, a substitution of attorney petition was submitted just a few moments ago due to the explosion in the courthouse yesterday. Mr. Justice is unable to continue. So this happened yesterday. My man got involved in an explosion that resulted in injuries that had him bandaged up the way he was and they just let him out of the hospital after one day is that how it works i've never been admitted to a hospital i've never been a part of an explosion i don't know how it works that seems too quick i see i see I'm not at all surprised he used that as an excuse to run away Ooh boy don't pick on my son like that how dare you with me as an adversary who wouldn't want to faint illness in order to escape what the nerve of that guy i'm gonna give him a piece of my mind not before I do. Well, I would if I wasn't so nervous. <laughs> this arrogant jerk. You arrogant jerk! I forgot it talks! No, Widget! Is my hearing getting worse? Yes. I could have sworn I heard the fence say something just now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y you didn't hear anything at all. Uh, especially not from me. All right. I could have sworn I also heard something. Oh, that would be my indispensable partner, Widget. He, uh, sometimes blurts out what I'm thinking. <laughs> Well then, if that's the case, then it's a clear contradiction to what you just stated. Okay, is he- this is like, what, tutorial shit? Don't try to fucking teach me how to play an Ace Attorney game, please. A contradiction? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> you just stated it, you said nothing. However, if that device of yours says what you're thinking, then you indeed said, I was. What was it? Elegance at work? If the widget says what she is thinking, then it's not a contradiction to say that she said something when she said that she didn't say anything because she was thinking it. You dumb bitch! Think about what you just said. Eep! Actually, he was arrogant jerk. At any rate, what does it matter if it's a red monkey or a yellow monkey facing me? What What about the Miss Monkey? No fresh out of law school rookie can defend this witness. Mr. Perry, I believe that's enough. Let us go back to the case. Of course, Your Honor. I'm more than ready to show this little girl why they call me the rookie humiliator. You more know, like a smelly nutsack. Come on, man. I knew it. He really is an arrogant jerk. Arrogant jerk! Precise. If you continue to insult the prosecution, I will remove you from this court. Oh, come on! He had it coming! <laughs> I'm very sorry. It's just a knee jerk reaction. Also, why do you even ha let your widget read your thoughts what if you had really insane perverted thoughts going through your head right now and it just he just spoke out you really want that thing outing you that seems like a very bad idea athena now then mr prank your opening statement if you please thank you your honor now then the incident occurred yesterday here at this very courthouse in courtroom number four at the time the trial for a certain bombing was being held in courtroom number four. Oh yes I was presiding over that trial as well. Oh, I just remembered it like it was yesterday. And Mr. Justice was there as the lawyer for the defense. A bomb that was being presented as evidence suddenly went off during the trial. I'm trying to remember what that case is. It was a terrible incident, and courtroom number four was completely destroyed. I mean, the floor's still there, the podium is still there. It's not completely destroyed. Contradiction, objection. Fortunately, we were able to start evacuation procedures before the explosion occurred. Just a few seconds more, and it would have turned into a horrific, horrific loss of human life. But there was, in fact, one death, was there not? That is correct, Your Honor. When courtroom number four was examined after the blast. See, I thought she was the one that was going to be accused of the bombing. <laughs> this is who I remember. I didn't remember her um, bleeding, but, you know, I remembered her. The body of Detective Candace Arms was discovered. She was to take the stand as a witness later in the trial. I suppose she wasn't able to evacuate in time. What a terrible tragedy. I must admit, I stumbled at least ten times myself before I was able to escape. Maybe the court should see about getting you even shorter robes. The victim's body was found near the entrance to the courtroom. I suspect she stayed until the very end to help guide the others out safely. Your Honor, allow me to submit as evidence the victim's autopsy report. And details about the bomb. Trauma to back of head caused by impact with a flat object. Time of death between 8 and 11 a.m. Stuffed animal bomb. Look how cute 
it is. I know it says guilty, but look how cute. Actually, elephants shouldn't be evil. Elephants are nice, docile creatures, you know. They have the power to kill a man, but they wouldn't. They're too, like, they're too nice. All evidence for the trial is filed in the court record. We have the profiles. My boy, you're so beautiful and handsome and not like a monkey at all. <laughs> Why do I always lose my mind when it comes to Apollo? See, this is the thing. The Apollo Justice Trilogy was made specifically for me because I love my boy. And apparently, a lot of people don't like him. But, like, I love him. So, th they made this trilogy just for me. <laughs> Junie, a girl who loves nature. We love that for her. Fuck you, Gaspin. Yo, you'll be Gaspin for something. Darling, please call to your crews to the worker star. Oh, Junie. Cough, cough. Revenge, are you feeling all right? You're looking a bit pale. I'm so sorry. I was feeling a bit weak when I first arrived here at the courthouse. <coughs> but I... I'm all right. Junie's really giving it her all. I'd better make sure I do the same. Hey, hey, if we could please proceed. Your name and occupation, defendant. Juniper Woods. I'm a, a high school student. She is? At 18? Oh, she's in her, like, last year of school, I guess. Miss Woods, can you confirm you were in the courthouse on the day in question? Yes. I came to know Apollo Justice through my friend, Lena. <laughs> and so, I was there yesterday. <laughs> to watch his trial and let me survive. Something's wrong. Junie's really scared. <laughs> Did you know I'm also known as a defendant humiliator? If your entire personality is just to humiliate people, why are you even here? Go fucking get a... I was gonna say go get a job, but I guess he is working right now. Looks like I have yet to have a chance to show everyone how I earned that moniker. Yeah. Does his arrogance know no bounds? I have to protect Junie no matter what. Hey, you arrogant uh, 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 prosecutor Payne. Hmm? What is it? Do you want me to demonstrate why I'm known as a rookie humiliator instead? Deep breaths, Adina. What? What? I can't say this word. Deep, deep breaths. Uh, deep breaths, Adina. <laughs> Prosecutor Payne, Junie is telling the truth. Mr. Justice also backed up her claim when we saw him in the defendant lobby. And Junie, he said that he was glad to get you the load. What? 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 He said that he was glad to get the lotus root you gave him too. He was? My grandma says lotus root is good for your eyes. Are they? I'll, I believe it. Lotus root can be pretty good depending on how you cook it. She says they can even help you see into the future. They can? That's the perfect present for a lawyer. And if that's true, I guess he must not have eaten them. <laughs> <laughs> mm, a sweet brick girl like this blowing a courtroom to bitch. I must say it's very hard to believe. What's like her motive? Oh, I missed him saying his Igiari. Now, now, your honor. Don't let her seemingly innocent appearance fool you. The defendant had a motive for committing this crime. Oh, she did. Okay. Well. That, that's not true. I, I don't have any kind of motive. I, I, I didn't even know the lady was killed. <laughs> I admit the investigation didn't turn up any connection between the victim and the defendant. However, that doesn't matter. The only thing that does is that her objective was the destruction of courtroom number four itself. It made fun of her. <laughs> this entire room made fun of her and her grandma. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Why in the world would Mrs. Woods want to do that? I keep saying Mrs. I'm sorry, she ain't married. Mm -hmm. That's a very good question coming from a novice such as yourself. But first, a question for the defendant. Have you ever been brought up on false charges? What? What? Why, yes. Yes, I have. I don't remember. What the hell is it? Did the experience cause you to harbor a grudge against the court system? <laughs> now, wait just one moment. If that kind of thing was a motive for blowing things up, then every one of our clients would turn into bombers. Or the valid point. We wouldn't have a single courthouse left standing in the light. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, there is one case that I'm thinking of. I didn't realize this was something that happened before this, though. That's why I'm like getting confused. I can see the accused isn't the only one who might bear resentment against the courts. But Miss Wood is the only person who could have committed this crime. Why? Because we have found some decisive evidence that proves the defendant's guilt. Decisive, huh? I'll believe it when I see it. Didn't Athena say something in to Apollo about handing over files or something like that? Did, did we even get anything from him? I guess not. It involves a very unique aspect. Aspect. Not the bomb itself, Your Honor. What exactly was so unique about it? Why don't we have Miss Sykes answer that question? Huh? M me? Mm -hmm. I noticed that you appear to be very nervous. And well, a gentleman that I am, I'd like to offer you the chance to gain some confidence with such an easy question. Could he be any more condescending? Really? What a thoroughly unpleasant man. Alice for loser! Herf, what did you say? N nothing. Not a single thing. 
he's just stating the fact that Ella is for a loser. He doesn't say anything about you. <laughs> Let's see. What was he supposed to do at a time like this? Can I examine? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, I know. The information I need is somewhere in the court record. All right, Mr. Sykes. Let's hear your answer. Oh, I'm so stupid. I clicked it in here earlier to try to examine the stuffed animal bomb, but the thing exploded. So what is there to examine? What was the unique about the bomb that blew up in the courtroom? Was it because it was... In Apollo's briefcase? No! Uh, oh, okay. Mr. Payne, what kind of simpleton do you take me for? It was stuffed inside a stuffed animal. Its evil intentions covered up by a cute exterior. <laughs> Very good. Have a cookie. Where is it? Where, where, where is it? Where's the cookie? You can't just say have a cookie and then not give me a cookie. That's fucked up. The bomb that went off in the courtroom was indeed hidden inside a stuffed animal. There. How do you like that? Not bad, huh? I am fine. Just like I said from the start. I can do this. Yes, I don't recall. The bomber was inside a stuffed animal the whole time. I never even got to like, take a look at it. But what connection does this impish elephant have with the defendant? The answer to that question lies in another piece of evidence. Which I have here. And what pray tell is this? It appears to be a little singed. It's a tail, your honor. The tail of a poor victim of the explosion. This is incredible. Are you showing this Detective Arm's tail? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she had a tail, didn't you know? Your honor is so very close. But no, it belongs to the stuffed animal. It's called a phony fanty. A rather unpleasant name, if you ask me. I, it's a pretty cute name, honestly, for it. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to think of anything better. He's a rascal for a campaign to eliminate false evidence of false charges, is it not? Exactly. His motto is phony evidence is just trumped up. That's not a very good slogan. That's so wrong on so many levels. I think it's just bad. The phony fanty's tail is made of vinyl cloth. And we found something very interesting on its surface. The defendant's fingerprints. What? The phony fancy provided the prosecution with all the evidence we needed. It clearly proves that the accused handled a bomb. Whatever, you know, I... Yeep. But that doesn't make any sense. Why would you need his fingerprints be on it? Hmm. Well, those appear to be pretty irrefutable evidence. The court accepts it into evidence. Mr. Swartz, do you have an explanation for us? I, I, I don't understand. I, <laughs> How about you, Miss Sykes? Do you have any plausible explanation to refute this defensive piece of evidence? Well, I... Uh, I can't do it. I can't think of a single thing. But I'd better come up with something. For Judy's sake. If you can't produce an answer, we can always go straight to the ruling if you prefer. No, I have to say something. Fast. Fast? Oh no, I can't get my voice to work. Why now of all times? Oh wow, I didn't, okay. I thought I overcame this already. Maybe I'm still not ready to stand in court? I didn't realize that this, ha that this showed up so quick in the, the game. <laughs> I wasn't expecting such a deep voice for pain. Hey, who's here to save the day? Sorry it took me so long to get here, Athena. Apollo explained the whole thing to me over the phone. He asked me to come help you out in his place. Thanks for coming. I hate to admit it, but I was having a real rough time on my own. Oh, I don't know. I think you were doing just fine, all things considered. And you hung in there, giving me enough time to get here. Now, let's turn things around. You got it, boss. Oh, oh, oh. Look, shut up out of the blue. Ha, get it? Because you're wearing blue. If it isn't Mr. Phoenix right, you always manage to surprise me. Shut up. <laughs> Your honor, Mr. Payne has called for an early ruling, but I believe there are still many things that need to be deliberated. How did Miss Wood's fingerprints wind up on the stuffed animal's tail? 
How was the bomb even detonated? Why is my neighbor outside sawing something for fucking hours on end? We'll never know until these questions are answered. I assert it's impossible for a fair ruling to be made. Hmm, you're absolutely right. Let us continue from where we left off. I assume you have no objections, Mr. Pur. Hey, hey, none at all, your honor. Miss Woods really looks like she's having a hard time. Junie's really struggling, Mr. Wright. I get the sense she's afraid of the courtroom itself. Because of yesterday? Yeah. It was understandably very traumatic for her. Poor thing. And there she is, back at the courthouse again, being so brave. I mean, she doesn't have a choice. I'd like to make a request, Your Honor. If at all possible, I'd like to have Miss Woods rest in the lobby. Hmm. Given the friend's condition. Very well. I grant special permission. You will get some rest, Junie. Leave the rest to us. Okay. Thank you. Sorry about this. <laughs> How nice of them to give her time to rest. Phoenix Wright! I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's been a while, Mr. Payne. <laughs> You're more clueless than I'd heard. I do believe you mean. How do you do? For I am Gaspin Payne. I am the younger brother of your long-standing rival, Winston Payne! Rival? What?! Long-standing rival?! When were we ever rivals, let alone long-standing? <laughs> I mean, you've been in the court with him, like, at least four times, I think. So, like, clearly that's enough to be a rival. You'll see, Mr. Wright! I will cleanse Winston of the disgrace he met with at your hands! What, is he dead? Looks like this royal pain is going to be as thoroughly unpleasant as the other. Your Honor! The prosecution would now like to call a decisive witness on the stand. This witness will testify as to how the accused detonated the bomb in the courtroom. Very well. Please call your witness, Mr. Prey. Who is the witness? It's a man with a keyboard on his hand. We will continue this the next episode. I'm going to try my best to say a section this into each episode. But until then, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing and commenting how much you love potatoes.